Hi, Ron Spomer here to badmouth the 308 Winchester. This is an extremely popular and efficient little cartridge, and a lot of guys want to buy one of these as a sniper long range round. It's been used that way in the military for a long time, but I think it's really not the right one. There are better options. The 308 Winchester is just the 30 6 short, so you have less powder shooting the same bullets. It's going to be about 100 to 200 feet per second slower than the .30-06. What's its advantage? You can put it into a short action, lighter, more compact rifle. And I think that's why the military went with it in the 1950s. Shortened up their uh, rifles a little bit, saved some weight, especially when you're packing a lot of ammunition. But if you want to hunt with these or even just shoot targets at fairly long ranges, there are much better options. And here are two of them, the 7mm 08 and the 260 Remington. They're both the same case. They take the 308, they neck it down to 28, they neck it down to 26, or 6.5 millimeter in the 260 Remington. And both of these will hit harder and shoot flatter and drift less in the wind than this 308 Winchester. So why mess around with it? I ran some numbers on a ballistics calculator. Get this, 150 grain bullet in the 308, 140 in each of the other two. If you drive this thing at top velocity, which is rated at 2,820 feet per second from the muzzle, based on the Remington catalog, this bullet will drop nine inches at 300 yards. This 140 grain bullet out of the seven millimeter 08 at 2,860 feet per second will only drop eight inches. Big deal, one inch, not a big deal. But same deal with the 260, only an eight inch drop. So both of these are dropping a little bit less than the 308. But here's the big deal. They actually deliver more energy down range and it really shows up at 600 yards. At 600, you're dropping 98 and a half inches with that 308, 150 grain bullet, only 82 with the 708 and the 140 grain here on this 260. But here's the big difference. Energy retained at 600 yards, 624 foot-pounds in the 308. That's not a lot. 817 in the seven millimeter 08, and who would have believed it, but this little 260 with 140 grain bullet still has 893 foot-pounds of energy at 600 yards. So you get less recoil with these two, you get a flatter trajectory, and you've got more energy downrange. I just don't understand why everybody wants to get a sniper rifle or a long-range hunting rifle in a 308 Winchester. Your better options are right here. 7 millimeter 08, 260. Well, here you see what happens with that 308. You just get a lot more drop at 600 yards. The 260, the 7 millimeter 08. I adjusted the sight so that I would hit dead on at 600 yards with those two, but then I adjusted the sights on the 308 as if it would do the same thing, but the bullet's not capable of doing it. It doesn't have the ballistics coefficient that enables it to, to fly that flat, even though they're using the same amount of powder. The bigger, fatter bullet, less ballistics efficiency, it's going to drop more. So if you're looking for a long range hunting rifle, I don't recommend anybody shoot deer or antelope at 600 yards, but you're gonna get a lot flatter trajectory and less wind deflection with these two, this 260 and the seven millimeter 08, and you get a little bit uh, less recoil with them. You can get them in a lightweight little rifle like this one, only weighs about six pounds, 260 Remington folks. A lot of guys overlook it, I wouldn't.